Dolphins rape people? Yes. 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 True story, please. Everyone at Fuck Club knows that. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> True story, 14 reported cases of dolphin rape a year, dolphin rape a year in the US. Which means there's like 10,000 cases happening a year. If you're reporting, if someone rapes you, you're swimming, you get raped by a dolphin, you report, why are you reporting it? Is it to get the dolphin on the registered sex offenders list? It'd be really hard to avoid schools, schools if you're a dolphin. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I'm joke, fuck you. <laughs> and you know, but that's a lot. This isn't comedy in that dolphin rape, obviously comedy, but that's how it's up. Someone's been raped by a dolphin. Someone's been raped by a dolphin. A real person has been raped by a dolphin. He's just trying to forget that it's traumatic in anyone's book. A little nice afternoon in the Whitson days turns raping. And now he just wants to get past it, move on with his life, but he can't. Everywhere he goes, dolphin necklaces, dolphin bumper stickers, dolphin earrings, dolphin tattoos, dolphin ornaments, staring at him with their greedy little beady dolphin eyes. People say, what would Jesus feel like coming back to earth? Uh, seeing himself on a crucifix, <laughs> on. Seeing himself on a crucifix everywhere. Ask the dude that got butt fucked by Flipper how that feels. Yeah, dolphin noises. Fuck fuck club. You over it? I'm over it. The dude before was talking about the Mormons knocking on his door. A few people here that know me. No, I was a Jehovah's Witness. I used to knock on doors. It's not a joke. That's true. I knocked on the door once. <laughs> <laughs> knocked on the door once, right? And um, I wasn't a very good Jehovah's Witness. Hence being on Fuck Club like three years later. I knocked on this door once. This guy was like, um, you know why I loved Hitler? I said, why did you love Hitler, bro? And he said, he tried to kill all the Jehovah's Witnesses. I said, fantastic, man. So I moved on. And he followed me from door to door, shouting hatred at me, and I was just doing what I thought was the right thing to do. I was brainwashed, that's why I was a witness in the first place. And I knocked on the next door, right, and these kids were smoking up weed. And they were like, oh, this little Jehovah's Witness kid, do you want to smoke some weed, man? I was like, you know what, I do want to smoke some weed. I went in and blazed up with those 17-year-olds. I got kicked out of the witness church two weeks later. <laughs> There's no comedy in there. No, it was all very depressing. What's I talk about? Have we got Seinfeld music? I've got Costco jokes. Here's the thing about Costco, right? <laughs> you go to Costco, you know what Costco is? Costco is um, supermarkets where you buy everything in bomb. Costco's awesome, if you haven't been to Costco, you should go. But the problem is, it's a lot like Audi, yeah, but bigger, bulkier. You go, um, see where you're at in your life. Like, normally you go to the supermarket and just buy toilet paper. At Costco, do I want three years worth of toilet paper? <laughs> what happens if I have an accident? I move house. What happens if I die? What's going to happen to all my toilet paper? Where are you going to keep all that toilet paper? Exactly, it's a nuisance. Jane's completely right. <laughs> Uh, normal supermarket, you need deodorant, you go get deodorant at Costco, do I want to spend like links for the next four years? <laughs> what if I grow out of being a douchebag? What if I go past that stage? <laughs> Maybe you could just attract the whole group of teenagers and then you could like sell it to them or something, like you could have a posse. Sell it? Yeah. I, I once saw a brand of toilet paper called Regal. Regal toilet paper. <laughs> but it was only one ply. <laughs> As if a king would wipe his ass with a one ply toilet paper. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's go. 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 Let's Tough comments are much funnier than anything I wrote, so I'm out. Cheers, guys. What? Turn me into a bitch. Here's a story um, about how I saw some Jehovah's Witnesses once in the street, and I just glazed over like you do, and then a question came to me. And this is the most awful question. I can't fucking believe what a bitch I am. Because you can see me up here on stage making these really smart offers to all these comics. But apart from that, I'm actually, I'm actually
actually quite a bitch sometimes, and I don't mean to be. So I was like glazing over, and he was trying to say, hey, you know, do you want to listen to my story? Come and sit down, how's your day? And I'm like, don't you miss your mum? Oh. <laughs> oh. So these boys, these 17-year-old boys go on mission, and he actually started to cry. It just bro it broke through his, his, you know, Jehovah's Witness wall, and he just started to cry, and I was like, hey, it's okay, you can write to her, or you can call that's her. A, that's, that's and then you said, I'll be your mum. The, uh, the Mormons do the missionary thing, but this is different. Anyone got any questions about the witness thing? I seriously was a witness, I seriously is not the Lord. Yes, what do you witness? Any questions about it? I know it's not usual fucked up science. Someone that used to believe in God, I'm disgusting with me, I know. Maybe I hate I, myself for I, it too. I kind of just group all cults in. So, so witnesses is, is a, a low level cult. It's as far right wing as you can get without being in a convert, without being Amish. It uses brainwashing, propaganda, that kind of stuff. And I got kicked out three years ago because I finger banged one of the priest's wives. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Is, is that the weirdest way you've ever been fired? <laughs>
And it was all I had left, like I didn't have a house to live in, I didn't have any possession or anything. So I drove up to the gap in Manly, and I got a bit of conduit, and I put it in the window. And I uh, turned the engine on, and I fell asleep, took some sleeping time, just fell asleep. So all this shit on my plate, I've got problems for days, and then I go up to the gap, and I try to get myself out. I wake up in the morning. Oh, hey, hey, so do you want to ask someone why is about your problems? <laughs> Back to 